My name's Barnaby Barford. Uh, I'm an artist. I work with uh, sculpture and installation, painting, video uh, and ceramics. And um, yeah, it's great to, to be talking about sort of five objects from, from, from Masterpiece. The first, uh, the first piece, it's a series of pieces, but I picked one, was David Hockney photo collage. This one is, is Gregory and Shinro on the train in Japan. And as I was sort of scrolling through, this flood of memories came back from when I must have been about 12 or 13 that I first saw these photo collage works and I was absolutely fascinated by them. So I took my mum's point and shoot camera and started trying to recreate them. And um, you know, with the sort of 24 exposure plus two, have to take them to boots to be, uh, you know, wait two weeks for the photos to get back and a load of them would be dark or too bright. But, you know, to this day, I still, still make sort of sculptures and artworks out of, you know, larger works out of individual units. So they, they sort of must have really stuck with me. The second piece was uh, uh, Operazione X by Mimo Rotella. And I've got an absolute obsession with posters on tubes and on billboards. So you've got this advert, you know, so maybe a promise of more, a happier life or something. And then two weeks later, another one's put up. And then two weeks later, another one's put up. And then it's somebody's job to come and rip them down. And it's at that point, you just get these incredible images, you know, a mix of sort of figurative, abstract text, uh, texture, and, you know, all by accident. And I'd actually make work with them if it wasn't for Mimo, because, you know, he was an absolute master and he was doing it, you know, decades, you know, before. So I just collect them now. <laughs> My third piece is uh, an Alexander Calder gouache and ink painting from Crane Kalman Gallery. And again, it just triggered this really vivid memory. Um, I went to see his exhibition, Performing Sculptures at Tate Modern about five years ago. And, you know, the, the figurative stuff is, is great. So engaging, entertaining. But then as it switched to the abstract work and the um, uh, mobiles, I just had this really profound experience where I just, it seemed to open up a space in my mind um, to think. It just sort of seemed to unlock this area, which I is usually sort of full and buzzing. And it just seemed to unlock it and open it and empty it. And it just gave me room to contemplate. And it wasn't necessarily contemplating about the work, but just room to think. And, you know, it was a really incredible experience. And it, it's, it's a, a thought that stayed with me for, for, you know, since then, actually, you know, it's really profound. The fourth piece is uh, a black glass paste box with a micro mosaic depicting St. John the Evangelist by uh, Michelangelo Barberi. And I suppose if I was in the fair, I would have missed it. But it, you know, the image popped up and it was just like, wow. And then I read the title and it's just like, Christ, mi micro mosaic. And then I saw the, the dimensions and it was sort of eight centimeters by five by two and a half. And you, you know, I love well-executed, well-made art. I like, um, you know, I, I love a, a really high level of, of craftsmanship. You know, I really appreciate that. And this thing is, is, is incredible. When you think about the dimensions and the, the colours that he's got and the, 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 the detail and the shadows and, you know, that just, you know, these sort of bright colours rendered on this stark black background you know, absolutely blew my mind. And, yeah, I, I reckon it must just feel beautiful to hold. The fifth piece is a, a superb Gorgot formation from Art Ancient Gallery. I mean, talking about spanning time, when I first saw this image, you know, scrolling through the images, when I first saw this image, I thought it might be, you know, at first glance, I thought it might be sort of a Tony Craig sculpture or something like that. And uh, and then I read the title and I thought, God, what's it called? 
and then I read the time and it said 30 million years old and it was just like wow wow you know mother nature is truly the best sculptor it's made from silica rich water flowing through loose sand and I mean it's absolutely fascinating it looks otherworldly you know it almost looks sort of science fiction doesn't it and uh I just imagine, I've never seen one. I, I went and had a look at them on the internet and stuff. I mean, this looks particularly <laughs> amazing, this one. But I just imagine that they have a real energy about them.